Now I'm out here with Future Environmental oh Do you want to specialize in, in environmental law? I don't know. I'm Maybe. out here with the Future Lawyer from Ontario, man. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> give them, you need to give them the advice that you just gave me about icicles. <laughs> you just no. say to be careful because I could die. Apparently, it's not a joke thing. Right? Because they real life threats. I'm saying that they're going to be putting up beware of falling icicle signs really soon. Because they get really long coming off of the buildings. And if you get impaled by an icicle, you're dead. You're dead, dead. She said dead twice, which means it's serious. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm just gonna walk around for now to see all the different places I can go, just like scan the perimeter basically. Then I'm gonna try and go to the places that catch my eye afterwards, buy a few things here and there. Maybe I can buy Christmas presents for my family. That that makes sense, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Basically, now it's already cold, um, but I'm hungry, so I've just literally found this place called <laughs> Ten Tornado Potato, which is like a twisted potato on a stick, but you can see it in a second anyway. But yeah, I just thought, let me try and buy this, let me try this. I haven't found my parents or family any <laughs> Christmas presents yet. I don't really want to buy them any Christmas themed Christmas presents, if that makes sense. As in Santa stuff, if that's a word. Yeah, let me see what this it might take a while. I'm order number five, so let me see how long it takes and how good this thing tastes. But I'll give you my honest review and opinion. But I feel like I've also already walked in pretty much everywhere around this Christmas market. It doesn't seem as dispersed as Birmingham's. It may be the similar size, but it seems more compact because it is in this old historic distillery centre. So that's why some of the buildings are they seem old, like the windows seem boarded up, but then it's like a weird mix where you've got the buildings like that, and then you've got buildings like behind me, which don't seem new, and even that apartment place just over there. So it's a weird mix of old and new. So this is basically it. <laughs> As you can see, I've already taken a bite. It tastes good already. Basically, it's just a normal potato. I got barbecue flavor too, so I think it's interesting. So. Yeah, because it's cold when I 
to eat. I'm gonna find some more food on this place. I'm gonna find some more food around this place and explore a little bit more. Yeah, that was nice, but it was so difficult to eat with cold hands. And I thought like I couldn't warm my clothes and eat it at the same time because it was a thin stick. But, you know what, let me spin back this way. I look behind me. I don't know if you can see, there's that weird sort of structure. But then um, it's kind of like you can see how there's a mixture between the very, very, very modern type of apartment buildings and some old. Yeah, I walked around, bought a little food, and now I can take that off my list, take that off my bucket list because now I've been to the Toronto Christmas Market and the historic distillery. I need to know what the actual name is, but I've just been to the historic distillery district, which is where the Christmas market was. I've been trying to take a bigger thing off of my list. Going, going up to the CN Tower. Way, it's not even as foggy as I thought it would be. Let me get some food. Sunset is at like 10 to 5 p.m. It's the time right now. It's 20 past 1. I'm gonna go explore Toronto a bit. Probably get some Popeyes, some Autumn Boys. Sure. 